But you know what also is, I would say a box office sensation is Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift's back yeah, in the news again. The and this is one of those things that I had to talk about because I saw this in New York Times, everybody. <laughs> Coming with a 5,000 word opinion piece about Tay Swift herself and coming in a little bit hot about her career and what she's doing and what she means and what she wants and who she is and, and talking about her sexuality and what her songs mean. Now, this is, we talked about the show before. This has been not something the that people person. have said. I know, not the first person, but the, for New York Times to have this opinion piece, it's kind of interesting. And I know that a lot of her team is very upset about this, but they're saying the same thing. Everyone else is saying that a lot of her songs throughout the years have hinted at her, you know, being a lesbian, you know, being, you know, she says she supports LGBTQ plus, and she's like very involved and there. There's a safe place at her shows and they're putting all these pieces together and tying all these things together to make it be like, oh, this is how she's hiding. And to me, I'm like, I said it last Friday about Bernie. Leave Taylor Swift alone. Just leave her alone. Like she's a sensation right now. And I get it. You're fucking. Yeah, you're gonna find some trouble because everyone's talking about Taylor Swift, and she's fucking making big money. She's a billionaire now. She's she got hate. She's 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 freaking dating somebody from Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, she's dating Travis. Was name uh, Khalees or something like that? Khaleesi. <laughs> I'm like, I, don't, I, I can't pronounce names. What it is, guys? Yeah, you can from the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. The I'm yes, call. driver dropped off a package to her house, and they thought they were dating. Like every time she takes a picture with someone walking by, they're like, "She's dating well, that guy now." Well, that's the whole thing too. She was right. saying as well that, that she like started hanging out with her friends a lot of times because she was like, "If I if I if I hang out with all these guys, they're gonna say that we're you know uh, that I'm, I'm sleeping with this person, I'm sleeping with that person. That's what it is." So she's like, "I'm just gonna not do that, and I'm just gonna hang out with my girlfriends." And it becomes a whole thing where they think that I'm just sleeping you know I'm a lesbian person, now. It doesn't change. Scary. She's still it's sleeping with whoever she's it. with. That's that's how they yeah, see she it. Is. It's, I mean, it is, it's just looking for hot gossip and they're just trying to find some reason to talk about her. Okay, Rachel, 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 Rachel. So you hear about this, you're a big taste with a fan. Do you think that this is a right for the New York Times to actually make this piece? It is an opinion piece. We've seen how those can go wrong. Look at the giant depth scenario. Was this right on time, on, you know, New York Times to do this? Or should they have taken a second to think about what they're actually putting out there for clickbait? It is, it is a lot of clickbait. Everything in the news is clickbait. I We're think clickbait. at the end of the day for opinion pieces, especially of this nature, when you look at lyrical analysis, you look at the history of gay flagging, you look at the history, there's just too much to be a coincidence. It's not like there's one reference. It's not like there's, you know, something that could be misconstrued. Like, Girly Pop has had some very, very gay lyrics. And like, is it up to any of us to say what her sexuality might be no but do i believe that that is a woman who has kissed other girls absolutely taylor Ooh, swift a, um a lot of her girls lyrics haven't kissed other girls <laughs> straight girls um, well, no no everyone went to college <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> to, to the note of kind of what Jake was touching on earlier, um, that anytime she's photographed next to a man, it's all, oh, they're dating. Um, but like this woman was out on the town with Carly Kloss like every night for three fucking years, making out at concerts, writing songs yeah, about how she doesn't, how she wants to sec her, secretly fuck her best friend who, it, it, like. <laughs> Rachel's like this is this is so obvious that's hey, true. Like you can't why we out a person. You can't out. That's not you, your you know, New York Times so shouldn't be out. Here, <laughs> as a queer person, person. here's kind of my modern my look on the kind of modern necessity of coming out. I don't think anyone owes anyone else coming out. Um, I think so. that you can just live your life, live it out loud, and if people notice it, they notice it, and if they don't, they don't. Um, so that's kind of where, like, I don't feel like if she is queer, she needs to come out per se. I think she's already as out as she's ever going to be. Yeah. Listen to her music, writing right? blatantly yeah. gay songs is kind of like, and then writing songs be like, hey, you guys aren't listening to my song lyrics. <laughs> like, this is a woman who has gone on interviews and said, I want you to dissect my lyrics. I want you to look into these things. I want yeah. you to look into the symbology of my music videos. Like she is guiding us to these answers like she's like and I, I believe it's hard for a woman in this industry to be fully out especially at the time that she was coming to popularity um if she had come out after like let's say if she'd come out during uh the original 1989 era 2014 that would have tanked her career 100 percent, because oh, no. she wouldn't 
she would have gotten a stigma against her. She would no longer have just been a pop artist. She would have been a gay artist. Yep. And that tends to kind of stigmatize and lessen the appeal and the demographics, especially where she started in country music. A lot of that demographic would no longer be interested in her as an artist or an individual. That, I can see and that really happening. It's really about to that say, we yep. still. Yeah. It's really unfortunate that we still live in a world where those are things to consider, especially where she's touring internationally as well. She would lose a huge portion of an international audience by being blatantly and openly queer. Anybody who would so it's, anybody it's, uh, anybody who would do that to her for her coming out would do that to her for her support of the LGBTQ community to yep. begin with. Those people are yep. blanket fuckers and they're going to persecute you for being as supportive as you are um mm -hmm. it, of of the community whether you are or not yeah it there's a certain shield of not being like if she walked down the red carpet with her girlfriend that would be a very different image than saying hey i support this group yeah i just like to say too as someone that comes from the 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 south and his group you know i worked at the radio station in the country music world at that time she had not gone pop in fact right before i left the station she went pop so she was hugely celebrated in country music. And I think so many people forget that she started her career in the country music genre. Uh, and, and she was great. Even I, who am from the South, I don't care for country music or at least the watered down commercialized bullshit year on the TV because I don't want to fuck my tractor. But that's another story. Uh, she was actually really talented. Hey, hey, she had good sexy. music and it was always a little poppy. And then her career took off with pop. So she walks this really fine line of still maintaining a certain group of fan base while having a brand new group of fan base. And so it's really, it's a really delicate line. Like Rachel was saying, you know, like she takes the chance of losing those fans. But you know what? If they really like her and they actually give a shit, they're not going to care if she's gay or not. They're going to be there to support her for her art, for her music, and what she's do what she's doing. And if they're real fans, they already know she's. I'm not saying it, but yeah. possibly gay. Yeah. Because just Allegedly. like listen to the music. <laughs> like I'm an occasional yeah. listener, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that song's not about Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, you know, like it's not, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty slow. So like, even for me, it's kind of blatantly obvious. Like I'm slow to pick up. Hey, shit. Hey. And I'm like, that's pretty, pretty obvious. She likes girls too. Like good for you, girl. Right. Yeah, we got something but, in common now. I like you more. Swifty. Key, I'm here for it. Hey, Jacob, <laughs> but KJ, do you think that that's, do you think it's okay for the New York times to post something like this though? Is it just like, like, you know, Rachel's saying like, it's pretty obvious, but do you think that there could be any kind of legal ramifications? Cause their team seems pretty pissed about this. Honestly, their team is only pissed. Uh, my opinion is that Swift's team is only pissed about this because, as their P as her PR managers, they're worried of her losing that, you know, redneck fan base. That's like, oh God, how dare she be gay? You know, it's that's not that's not that's all they care is that it, New York. You can't be telling her fans that she might be gay. Brand. Like, do you know what it means to possibly be gay and have a country singing fan base? It's it's a dissonance in that world, but. There are a lot of people now in the country music fan base who are openly gay, who are amazing musicians. I love Orville Peck, highly recommend him as an artist, uh, that are changing that viewpoint and being like, hey, we're not all assholes. We actually like to sing about our home, where we come from, mm -hmm. and not that Jason Aldean bullshit. Like, mm -hmm. we're real country yeah. people. And yeah, I like that they're changing that, but you can't force that. You know, you can't force Taylor Swift to do that. It, it needs to be mm -hmm. on her terms for her to come out and do it. So yeah, it's one of those things where, like, if the New York Times stated that this is their opinion, I don't see an issue with it. But if they're saying and quoting something that she didn't say, but saying it came from her, that's mm -hmm. fucking wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That that becomes liable. Like, uh, I assume it becomes like a gray area right here. I, I think I get it. Like they're just trying to put the pieces together. But again, like the, the whole thing happened with Billie Eilish recently where they just kind of like variety just kind of said, oh, yeah, she put out that she's gay. She's like, I just didn't say, I guess, so, I guess everybody knows. So I think it's people's own, thing, you know, way of doing it. Here's the other thing about this article is Rolling Stone put out an article very similar to this last year. Like six oh, really? months ago, Rolling Stone put out an article that was speculative about her potential sexuality. So, like, this isn't a new it's conversation been for a very long time. I, yeah. if, if I could say something personally for Get me, in there, like, so, New York, the people forget that New York Times is actually a subscription. You pay a subscription for the New York Times. Mm. So, it, it, I think we, as I, I think we as people, it's kind of interesting that we would pay money to read an article that is basically just an opinion piece about a person that just has their own ideas. She is her. 
don't whip up the carpet from out from under her in 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 some way uh, uh, or form and just say okay well this is what we think but don't give that person the ability to say hey i want uh i i, I want the floor to be able to do that when i can and when i want to or if not it shouldn't really matter to me like it, the we, we dive deep into these people's lives so hard that it doesn't like matter like it, it doesn't give to the person the ability it doesn't give uh, uh or, or just in general like look the privacy part of it uh like you said uh, every single man that she's ever uh, been pictured with she's taken a picture and then and you know i was like oh is she possibly dating this person it's like well now here comes the other side any woman that she's going to be with is going to be pictured and plastered with that as well it's just I personally feel that uh, we as people just need to kind of just step back and not care that much. Like she, she is her own person. Like she well, really should just it, it, like she, uh, she has should be the one to come out, not anyone else. Not and Rolling Stones is one thing, and I expect this five thousand page or word piece to come out of like something from E or TMZ, not something that I pay for. That's the specific part that I'm mad against. It's like, I don't, I want to know what's the news in something that matters to me and not just something that's like, oh, well, <laughs> possibly, but we've yeah, done this much research. And I'm like, okay, great. Great. <laughs> Thanks for wasting my money kind of thing. Like, right. don't, don't do that. Yeah. Don't. And they're, they're right. They're getting like what's like five bucks a month or six bucks a month, and then they're like, oh, and they're just like feeding stuff in there. And again, opinions again. Yeah. Everyone has it. Just like like I remember growing up, everyone's like, yeah, everyone has opinion, just like they have an asshole, you know. So I mean, so everyone has one. I mean, that's what we do here. Where it's the show, we're opinion based too. So we're we're here guilty as you know, but also like, like, like <laughs> but, it, but we're not the New York Times doing. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. You're, again, what were you saying, Brandon? I was gonna say, did anyone watch the Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay? Mm -mm. Did anyone know? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I, I actually good? really like him. I'm surprised I haven't seen it, but he, I haven't. It, he said He's... one thing about specifically about uh, about uh, Kanye. Uh, and, uh, he was asked just like, what do you feel about Kanye? And he's like, I think we're pretty awful people when we shine a spotlight on mental health. And then we just say, okay, let's watch what he does. Right. Cause we're, we're under, we're, we know that he's not up here. You know, he's, he doesn't have everything and he's lost his goddamn just like, mind. Yeah. We, we yeah. just we don't care we want to know what he does and we want to say it's like no i don't agree with anything he says but at the same time i can't villainize or support kanye because i don't know what we want from him and it's like <laughs> i don't know what we want from taylor swift if we yeah. Yeah. you know want so much of this information and this deep dive of like her songs her her art and stuff those songs and art came from her soul so if like that soul is partially you know open or actual that's up to her so i think yeah i don't know maybe i'm just kind of like pushing too much on like the step back it's like no we don't need this much we don't need no this you're much. just speaking so, common uh, fucking sense and yeah, that's yeah exactly. what a lot of people miss out on yeah sabrina uh, can you pop up nice. edward hyde's comment again yeah that's nice what was it oh uh someone's coming uh, yeah. i yeah. really wish lived in this world yeah i really wish that in the world 2024 people would not care about people's sexuality but during just even the midst of this conversation some of the comments section has not been respectful about the lgbt we do not live in the time that we should um it's it's disheartening to see that in the year 2024 40 years after the peak of the aids crisis when the topic of homosexuality comes up, people are making age jokes. Mm -hmm. That's not okay. That's not acceptable. It's, we live in 2024. Move yeah. on. People are going to love who they love. People are going to have sex with who they have sex with. And mm -hmm. it's, unless you were involved in that situation, it's none of your goddamn business. Goddamn okay, well, right. again, oh, Zach Richard. is a stand-up yeah. comedian, and that's what you're talking about. And he is a stand-up comedian. Comedians make jokes. And sometimes people don't like the jokes, and that is their choice to not like them. I didn't put the first one up. The second one I put up for a second, and it was an accident. Um, but he is a stand-up well, comedian. That wasn't against and you. Comedians make jokes. No, I know, but I, I like him. And a lot of times he makes very fun jokes that are not, you know, offensive to anyone. So I just don't like it. Not not everyone likes it's, every joke. He's a stand-up yeah. comedian. 
I've said that a million Joking times. about an illness that killed millions of gay people in a conversation about gay people is not. It also funny. killed a lot of there straight people. And or just not so, yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still, yeah. you know, it, it's in poor taste, but it's a joke. And he's a stand-up oh, comedian. There are people in our chat. Lexi's uncle died from HIV AIDS. I know. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get and there. And that's not. Second. That's not okay. Shit, yeah, it's, it's not okay to make those jokes. It's a lot. You know, I mean, this is actually a good comedian. You're addressing, you're addressing not, something in the chat that was not up on screen that I clicked one up for a, literally a split second that no one could have even read it, and I put it right back down. So yeah. well, you know, it was, I know you're reading the chat separately, it and I understand that. Point no one's attacking him. She's living. making a point. Yeah. 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 I didn't say yeah. 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 someone who's in the chat hating on people. He's a stand-up comedian and making a joke that you don't like. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm I didn't say But the point... I'm not, I didn't say his fucking name. So the point was yeah, that we live in a society. Out of uh -huh. We live in a All society right. that does not accept gay people, was my point. Yeah. I don't we think don't live true. in the world we should. I, I mean, there's so, a lot of hate that. out there in this conversation. As an openly yeah. queer person who has experienced discrimination, we yeah. don't live in the society we should live in. But there still is a lot of hate, and it's very unfortunate. And I think that's why her team is trying to be like, get on top of this because people are assholes out there. This yep. just happens. You know, you can't, even if she is, if she isn't happy about coming forward to saying that, then she doesn't want this being a story that she's not able to control the narrative for. And I think that's what it is. So, Sabrina, before we move on though, like, do you feel like there will be any problems for, Taylor, for, for the Times, New York Times, or like, do you think that this is just a dumb opinion piece that just go away? Because it's the same kind of shit we've seen before like 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 rachel was saying with the uh with rolling stone uh, i mean an opinion piece is just that it's an opinion piece so um you know unfortunately i don't think there's really very much trouble that anyone can get into for for speaking their opinion is you know free speech bullshit oh. um uh, that being said i 100 percent agree with the fact that it's no one's fucking business who she's fucking like literally no one's business yeah. she can do whatever she wants she can have, be with girls, be with guys, be with whoever. She can have stage relationships, whatever the situation is. You know what I mean? Like it is what yeah. it is. Um, you know, it, it 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 it's it's not anyone's business. And I, Edward and Queen, thank you uh, for supporting uh, Zach in the chat. Not not that I'm trying to make a team Zach situation, but he's just made, you know I'm I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anyone ever. And I am I am bisexual. I am very pro uh, LGBTQ. I I'm very open about it on the show. Um, and I think that it is stupid that we are in, you know, the year 2024 and that this young woman doesn't feel comfortable saying who she really is, if that's who she really is, you know? And like, I, the thing is with her too, she specifically like has her fans like look for clues in her albums. They have this little Easter egg things and people like, there's like whole like blogs and chats like, oh, she's going to wear this dress on this day on this album. I mean, it's insane what these people do. And they're right 90% of the time, which is really fucking nuts. Um, yes. So I I think that she's inviting people to discover her in that way. I know her parents are very conservative. Um, so I think that's probably part of it. If 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 that's, you know, her, her thing is maybe she doesn't want to upset her parents. I think though, fan base wise, especially with how she is now, how successful she is currently, like, I don't, I mean, I, I don't understand how she would lose a person. And if she did, yeah. there's bazillions. So it doesn't matter. You know, and she like, I mean, look at um, Kim Petras and like Little Nas X and, you know, Troy Sivan, like all super successful people, you know, that are part of the LGBTQ community. And, you know, even back in the day, like Janis Joplin, Joplin was bisexual, fucking Freddie Mercury. Like, you know, there was, it's, it's, there's something to owning it. And that's a person's choice. If you don't want to do that and, and you, you, it, your choice is to live your life how you want to. And if people want to come and dissect you and fuck with you, that's that's on them, you know, and, and she's just going to take the high road and not say anything until she wants to say it. And that's her fucking prerogative. It's nobody else's business yeah. what she does, honestly. But because yeah. she is in such a bright spotlight and so fucking popular, you know what I mean? Like people are just like they, they flock around it. They watch her. They're trying to fucking figure something out. They're trying to be the first person to break something, you know, and, and it's really sad that when you yeah. are that famous popular um a hundred percent edward hyde um yeah that, great that great comment you under a microscope like that it's really unfortunate you know what i mean um but it is what it is and there are a million people rachel to your point um and to lexi's point in the chat like i understand um that there are things that are sensitive and i understand that in 2024 where no one should be judged for who they're sleeping with 
or who they like or how they live um, or what color they are or what sex they are. Like it, there's, there should be none of that at this point, but yeah. unfortunately it does still exist. And in some areas much more heavily than others, you know, and there's, there is some, like there, a lot of progress has been made. And then like, it's like, you know, two steps forward, two steps back. So um, it's, it's really unfortunate that we're even having this conversation in, yeah. in January of 2024. It really is. It, 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 it really is. I, I, it, and Sabrina, she might get married to Travis Khaleesi pretty soon, too. So you never even know, you know? Khaleesi? Oh. <laughs> it's it's worse worse Where am I driving? I can't. I worse. cannot. <laughs> it might be happening tomorrow for all I know. It might be a Christmas miracle. It's a New Year's miracle. It's a, a baby is born. I don't know. A baby's think born. Why not? Get married. I think she's just trying to do her fucking tour, put out her fucking music, and live her fucking life. Let her go yeah, to a cheese game. Money. Let her hang out with her fucking friends. She seems, who she seems like she likes this guy bisexual queen yep. from cruise yep. control the most bisexual show on youtube it sure is sure just is. get in there just get in there tay tay get in there tay tay have a good time but tay tay is the news again and i gotta say leave her alone leave her alone new york times who are you with your subscription base leave her alone new york Times, yeah. shocking like it's, it's a very reputable that's, fucking that's that's, kind that's of what up. i'm that's saying what yo player Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Cause the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Cause I'm hungry. Holla back, love y'all.